The Northern Territory Corrections Commissioner has resigned after a sex offender escaped from prison. He was 36th escapee in 18 months. The Chief Minister gagged his embattled Corrections Minister from speaking and wouldn't detail whether the Commissioner was offered any payout. Corrections Minister with nothing to say. No, I'll take all the questions today. We'll leave it there. Thanks. The Chief Minister announcing that the Corrections Commissioner resigned after the 36th escape in just 18 months and a litany of concerns about his department. I have accepted the resignation of Ken Middlebrook. Uh, we are now appointing uh, Deputy Police Commissioner Mark Payne to be the Acting uh, Commissioner of Corrections uh, from tomorrow uh, going forward. The Chief Minister was asked four times if there'd been any request or suggestion for the Commissioner to resign. The Minister also declining to comment on questions about whether he'd been paid out. The opposition launching a political attack. Today, Ken Middlebrook has been made the scapegoat to John Elfrink and Adam Giles. Adam Giles cannot sack John Elfrink. He needs his vote to pop up his minority government. John Elfrink remains, the problem will remain. The Chief Minister says regular Territorians have confidence in the correction system, but one of the Territory's most senior lawyers, a barrister and senior counsel with 25 years experience, has taken aim over the way policies disproportionately affect First Australians. 100% of the detainees, believe it or not, are Aboriginal. And 80% of those Aboriginal children come from outlying bush communities. And you should be reminded that in the territory we jail juveniles six times higher. He said if this were anywhere else in Australia we'd be at crisis stations and there'd be action. These policies go against that. In fact they compound the crime rate, they increase the crime rate, they make society less safe because juveniles that are taken into detention and consequently dealt with in a manner such as this, which is opposite of what they should be, will inevitably come out worse than they went in. When asked whether the minister should be sacked or resign, he said ultimately there should be action from the top. Dan Borsha, Sky News, Darwin.